There are 41 whole words that you can text using a recorder, the longest of which are cabbage and baggage. <laughs> There's loads of videos of people taking things which aren't musical and making them musical with a makey-makey. So this weekend we decided we'd take something that was musical and make it do something computery. This was part of a hackathon uh, at Manchester. One of the sponsors had a challenge for the most ridiculous use of a texting API and Paula decided to rig up a musical instrument to a texting API. So you have uh, you can text with only the musical notes available. We have a recorder connected to a Makey Makey, which we're using as the input instead of a keyboard into this laptop. There's wires connected to each of these finger holes, and there's an earth wire connected to the mouthpiece. With the Makey Makey, you have to be connecting one of those wires and the earth at the same time to get input into a computer. If you're holding the keys and then you blow into it and connect the earth, you can start typing as you would with any other keyboard, except it's not a keyboard, it's a recorder. We numbered each of the holes and then we changed the file on the Makey Makey so that when each of those holes are touched, it sends a string through the USB with which holes were being pressed when you touch the earth. So, for example, we'll send 0, 1 and 2 to the computer because those were the holes that I had covered. That didn't make much of a tune. We kept doing it just that way this weekend to not annoy people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay. okay, go, 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 go that. We'll send 0, 1 and 2 because those were the holes I had covered when I pressed the earth. So anyone that actually plays a recorder, sorry for my bad recordering, I'm not a recorder player. Sure, those are meant to be different notes. <laughs> the wires have a tendency to come out. As you can see, they are purely duct taped on. A bit of a technical issue with the duct tape. <laughs> You're currently pressing notes. Yeah, I know. It might work a bit better now. Yeah. Let's see. What good is it having so many numbers on there? How do you get cabbage then? What happens is that it sends all of the numbers in a string in order. You can then write an applet that will let you take that string and switch on a case statement to say what letter should come from those. So we chose to do it. So if you played an A, then a statement would say you've pressed 0, 1 and 2 and switch that so they would output an A onto the screen instead of showing you 0, 1 and 2. I was thinking you would maybe make 0A, 1B, but you're talking about the actual note yeah. A. Is that right? Yeah. Because there's eight holes, we could have used eight factorial and had each one corresponding to a different letter and covered all of the letters and numbers and some punctuation. But we thought this way is a bit more ridiculous. And, you know, when you've got a recorder covered in duct tape, it's pretty ridiculous anyway, so make it as ridiculous as you can. The Makey Makey is similar to an Arduino. It's running Arduino firmware. So that has a program on here um, in Arduino C which will send the appropriate codes through. This is a Java file, Java class, recorder input, and in the recorder input class, they have this uh, switch statement. So switch statement, uh, they're just recognizing the different notes. So 0, 1, 2 for the A, 0, 1 for the B, 0, 2 for the C. Once they've formed those and recognized what note they are, they can be fed into the rest of the program to be used for texting or anything really. I'm not a musician, I'm a computer scientist. It was difficult and we upset a lot of people <laughs> at two in the morning at a hackathon when they were trying to sleep going, will this work? Blow a note. Oh, we squeaked, etc. But it does take quite a while, I'll be honest. Okay, the longest word that we can text is the word cabbage. So here we go. So we, we got 0, 2, which represents C, 0, 1, 2, representing A, uh, 0, 1, twice, representing two Bs, 0, 1, 2 again, and 0, 1, 2, 3, and then E, which is a bit of a ridiculous one, where if you have to press 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, so <laughs> there's quite a few finger holes involved in that one. So we were actually sitting quite close to the team that was sponsoring this award, and um, they very quickly caught on to 
what was going on and Paula became known as the girl with the recorder <laughs> and developed a bit of a fanfare throughout the event and uh, that led on to Paula actually winning the hackathon for that challenge. Um, her and her partner won and one of the, the prizes were, I think it was four Nexus 4s and a five foot banana. So let's say I have a, an important document, the permission to, to go to the moon. I don't know why I, I, don't know why I said that. Um, oh, yeah, I decided, to go to the moon, let's say that. why not and put them all in? 